Okay, so as I told earlier, integration is reverse of differentiation. I give you the example. Say, for example, you know d by dx of x raised to n is nothing but nx raised to n minus 1. So, hence, if you take the integral of this nx raised to n minus 1, it has to be equal to x raised to n. Yes, but also we will also, it's possible that this particular thing may also have a constant. Take for example, uh, x raised to 5 plus 3. This is suppose the function y. Then in that case, d by dx is x of x raised to 5 plus 3 is nothing but 5x raised to 4. So when you integrate this, you are bound to get this, but we are not accounted for the constant. So in other words, if d by ds of x raised to 5 plus 3 is 5x raised to 4, this does not give an idea as to what the constant is. There could be a constant involved over here. So if you try to take the integral of 5x raised to 4 dx, it won't be just x raised to 5. If the function is given and you want to find the integral of this, you can definitely find what the variable part of the original function is, but we don't know what the constant is. So in case of basic indefinite integration, you need to add a constant k because as I told in this case, since derivative of x raised to 5 plus 3 is 5x raised to 4, the integral of 5x raised to 4, you will be able to get it as x raised to 5. But we don't know what the constant is, so we always need to add a constant k. So we always say k or you could say c or any such thing. So take another example, we did the example of log x, yes, we know that, uh, sorry, uh, we have say d by dx of log x we know is 1 by x. So in other words, since this is true, then integral of 1 by x dx. As I mentioned earlier, integral is an elongated s, a stylish s more precisely, is bound to be log x. But it's possible that this could be log x plus some constant. So we need to add the constant k over here or you could call it c. So whenever we differentiate something, we need to add k over there. It's possible that k could be 0, but there is a constant. You always have to account for that constant. So it has to be k. Now these things could get modified in case of definite integration. We'll see how. So the general symbol, of course, is going to be, as I told earlier, x square dx. So it's integral of x square dx, right? Hence, we have this particular concept of integration. We'll take up more examples in these, yes? Right. So let's move further 